Hey guys, it's Steph with DebtFreeSpending.com and we are here this evening to show you just a fun, quick math activity that I like to play with my students at school that can be turned into a couple different um, activities as well. I'll explain that to you here in a couple minutes. And I really like to do a lot of activities with my students where they're moving and they're competing and they're not just sitting there doing worksheets. So what we've done is we've basically put all the multiplication facts on our cups with permanent marker. And so a couple different ways that you can play this game is if you take them and stack them this way, you actually would just kind of stack them. The kids would have two different stacks. It can be competitive or it doesn't have to be competitive, but they would basically be pulling from the two different stacks. Or I'm sorry, they'd be pulling from the stack and they would look at it and go, okay, 10 times 10, that's 100. Nine times 10, that's 90. And they would be trying to stack like you see those stacking cups, you know, as fast as they can get stacked and compete against each other. Okay, so they would be giving, as long as they get the correct answer, then they get to go ahead and stack their cup. And whoever builds their stack the, the quickest wins the game. So that's a competitive way to use it. Another way, if they're just doing it by themselves, is to practice, you know, stacking. And then when they're done, take like a ball and throw it and knock their stack down. That's another way. Uh, an additional way that you could do this is to actually write your um, multiplication facts the other way. So that they would be that they would be upside down or you know the other way, and the child would actually throw a ball, a ping pong ball, or some kind. I like a little super ball, where they would throw it into the mess of cups and try to get it into a certain cup, and then they would take that cup and they'd have to tell you the multiplication fact answer that's on that cup. So they'd basically be you know bouncing it into the cup, and then once it gets into that cup, picking it up and give you the answer to it that way. So these are just some different ways to use these cups as, and as well in reading, if you're doing sight words, you can actually write sight words like the or and, it, any of the sight words that you're going to use with your kids, you could write those on the sides as well. Well, that's not a very good example, but you could take a word and you could write it on the side and they could stack the exact same way where instead of multiplication facts, you'd be doing actual real words. So this is just one little math activity I wanted to show you and hopefully you guys will learn something from, from our video tonight. Okay? Have a great